Well, hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metal Working in France. A uh, little project I have on today, a uh, gentleman brought me uh, what appears to be a little three-jaw chuck. <coughs> um, it's for a wood turning lathe apparently, well he has a wood turning lathe. Um, he wants me to bore this, this, this one out uh, and, and put a thread in there, a 20 millimetre by one millimetre pitch. So uh, yeah, I'll get on and do that. Uh, shouldn't be too big a problem. Uh, the, the only thing is, he also wants me to make an adapter to fit this unit, uh, which again has got a 20 mil thread. He wants me to make an adapter, basically like a top hat shape, that will screw into his lathe and then screw into this thing, or into the chuck, whichever he, whichever one he wants to use at the time. So anyway, I'll be on the old Colchester lathe here, and uh, we'll see how we get on with this job. So follow me in the next few frames, see how this, this, this job progresses, okay? But in the meantime, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my site and share as well, obviously. Anyway, let's see how this job goes. Well, here we are. I'm just boring out the back end of this three-jaw chuck. Uh, I, I'm not really quite sure what uh, what diameter it is. It's, it's a bit. Uh, there's a slot through it as well, so it's not. Uh, it's not. Um, well, it's not really cutting very smoothly, but uh, it's not giving a bad finish. I'll just do a couple of passes. I've just got to take this out to 19 millimeter, so that it'll be enough to to give me the, the thread size. So it's machining out quite nicely actually, uh, as I say, I've speeded this up a little bit so that uh, you don't get too, bo too bored watching it. Uh, it's, it's machining quite nicely, so we're, we're nearly there now anyway. Uh, so we'll just run this back out again uh, in reverse on reverse feed, just to give it a nice smoother, uh, you know, a bit better smoother finish. So, uh, and then once I get that out of there, it's coming out quite well I'll stop the machine and then I can just measure this up uh, I'll use a telescopic bore gauge to try and uh, to get the size of this so uh, I could use a vernier because it's, it's only a, a, a tapping size I need so uh, it's, it's it's not too bad yeah that's pretty well dead on 19 millimeter so that's the right size Now I'll put the 20 mil by one millimeter uh, thread uh, tap into the into the bore. I'll, I'm running this on the lathe. I'm, I've speeded this up a little bit once again because it uh, you don't really want to be watching this. It, I can't feed it in that quickly, so it's, it's going in quite slowly. Now I'm feeding it back out again. It's not too bad actually. It's putting on quite a nice thread. So there we are, you can see the thread inside the, the bore here. Uh, it's not too bad a thread actually, it's turned up quite nicely. Uh, so yeah, I'm very pleased with that. So now it's time to start machining up the, the other piece that the gentleman's asked me to do. Uh, this is going to be the adapter to fit uh, various items onto his, uh, onto his wood turning lathe. So I'll just face this off across here at the moment just to clean it up so that uh, we're ready to start machining. So now I'm just putting in a, a centre drill uh, in the end, ready to start drilling this out. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I have to, you have to use a centre drill uh, just to get the, obviously, as it says, the centre of the, of the bar uh, when you want to start drilling a hole in the end of it. So uh, it takes a little while, um, you can't, again, can't run it too fast because uh, otherwise the centre drill itself will probably break. Now I'm putting in uh, just a, well, really a pilot drill. Uh, I'm using an 11 millimeter drill uh, just so that I can get, uh, get to the depth that I need to be. I'm taking this in about 35 millimeter just so that uh, I've got the full depth uh, to get the thread in there. So uh, it's, it's machining quite nicely, actually. Obviously my drill's quite sharp, so uh, that does help if you use a sharp drill. Uh, and obviously the steel is obviously fairly good quality steel, so that uh, 
we don't get any burning or chattering on the drill. Uh, it's, it's cutting quite quite freely. I'm using some uh, lubricant on it just to keep it uh, keep it cool-ish. Uh, obviously, it doesn't need to be very very cool, but uh, just keeps it nice. So now I'm using a 19 millimeter drill, uh, which will give me the, the tapping size for uh, 20 millimeter or M20 by one millimeter pitch. Uh, one millimeter pitch is also the depth of the thread. So that takes it into, uh, as I say, down to 19 millimeter for the tapping size. That's coming down quite nicely. Uh, again, I've, I've speeded this video up a little bit actually. It's, uh, the lathe is not actually running that fast. Uh, it's fairly fast, but it's not uh, not as fast as it looks on the video. So it's, it's machining out quite nicely. I'll just take that into the full depth, and then that'll be fine. So now I'm using the 20 millimeter by one millimeter tap. Uh, as you can see, there's a small mark on the on the tap itself. I put that on there with a felt tip pen just to show me the, the depth that I need to go into uh, to give me the full depth of thread that I need. And once I get there, I can just stop it, reverse the machine, and then the tap will just push itself back out again. Uh, as, as again, once again, I've speeded the video up slightly uh, just so that um, it looks a little bit more re uh, reasonable. Yeah, when you're tapping a hole like this and it's obviously pulling the tailstock of the lathe in, you can't run it too quickly, uh, just break the tap. Now it's time to start machining the other end. I've turned it, uh, the workpiece round in the chuck, so I'm just machining this down to get the, the, di the diameter I need. Uh, I'm now putting an undercut on just so that uh, I can, when I start cutting the thread, I can, I can just go into an empty space. So now I'll just start cutting the thread uh, on this. It's, it's 33 millimeter diameter by three and a half millimeter pitch on the thread. So uh, as you can see, I've put some blue on this workpiece so that I can follow the thread a lot easier. Uh, I just get to the end where the undercut is and then I can reverse the machine and draw the tool post out to clear the material. Because when it goes back on backlash, it tends to uh, not be quite in line with the thread. So the idea is just to keep it moving. So here we see I'm just running this through, uh, I've done it on time lapse so that it, it, uh, it moves it through a little bit quicker. So we see this machine running backwards and forwards quite quickly. Uh, it's running quite nicely actually. So uh, we'll just keep that going until uh, till we get the full thread formed on the, on the workpiece. Well, there you are. Nice little job done, actually. Uh, as you can see, I've got a 33 mil uh, by three and a half mil thread on here, which I had to screw cut on the lathe. And on this end, we've got 20 mil by one mil, uh, which luckily I had a tap for it, a special size tap. So that's that piece done. And again, we've got the little three jaw chuck. I bored this out and put a, again, a 20 mil by one mil thread in there. So hopefully the gentleman will, be ha gentleman will be happy with that. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, always look back on, on videos from the past. There's some quite interesting stuff on there. So uh, anyway, hope to see you in the next video. And in the meantime, I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye.